thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. So I have something very exciting to share with you guys. It is my IMATS haul for this year. We had our IMATS here in Toronto over the weekend. I did manage to go on the Saturday, but the most exciting part of my IMATS experience this year is that I got to meet some amazing people. Some of them are people that are subscribed to me here on YouTube, which is mind boggling to be honest. Um, I would never even think that I would get to meet some of you guys because, you know, when I film here, it's just so safe, you know, I'm pretty much talking to a camera. I know that people are watching, but it's one of those things. I don't know, I guess it, it becomes surreal to think that, okay, I'm going to meet some of these people that are actually, you know, watching me. And I'm sure it's kind of the same because... It's kind of weird. I would there's a lot of people here on YouTube that I think I would have a fangirl moment if I meet. Um and I I honestly don't think I'm there in the least bit. I mean, I pray to God that my channel will continue to grow, but the last thing that I honestly ever think about is being recognized or having no, not at all. And I I, don't, I mean, to be honest, I don't knock anyone for doing that. I Honestly, thank God for how he has blessed a lot of people here on YouTube. Um, and I mean, you just even pray or hope for a fraction of some of the channels that are on here. I mean, it's mind boggling to think that this little platform here that we call YouTube with people such as myself that sits behind a camera and record or share things that they know or share their passion and for people to really, you know, pretty much give you their time to watch you and not only that to support you and then to want to meet you in person. It's it's kind of crazy to be honest but we thank God that he's given us a platform such as this I know that when I started my YouTube channel I wanted just something that I can be more creative I was in a job that just encompassed like a like a small section of you know what I could do what I studied what I went to school for what I was passionate about and YouTube gave me that platform to honestly express myself and when I do that I want people to watch because it is my goal to share but you do it just because of that burning sensation within you to to do it um, but once again when people appreciate what you do when they want to meet you it's it's a good feeling it's a good feeling to be appreciated is definitely a good feeling so I definitely felt appreciated this week when I met um, some of some of you guys and yeah i actually did film this look for you guys because i also got so many compliments on my makeup i met so many people i was able to network with some of the um some of the people there and even lit cosmetics they were so generous to be able to give me something to um, add to my giveaway for you guys so it's just nice and I mean I didn't go there saying oh I'm a youtuber but for some reason they they just assumed that or they asked me you know do you do videos are you a makeup artist I love your eyeshadow or I love this what do you do oh here's my information blah 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 so it was a fun experience it was honestly a fun experience and I'm so happy that I went this year because even for the simple fact of meeting some of you guys anyways my goal for IMATS this year, apart from purchasing things for my giveaway, was just to, honestly, I had a list of things that I would get, but I didn't want it to be like past IMATS where I just purchase a bunch of random things. Been there, done that, I didn't want to do it. I had a list and I just didn't want to just buy something because it was a good price and then it sits in my collection because believe me, I have... A bunch of those things that I purchased at home um, at IMAT and I've never used so I'm just gonna jump into the um, into the tutorial and the first thing I want to talk to you guys about because it's just mandatory if you go to any IMAT and Nigel Nigel's beauty and pure I'm sorry if you go to any IMAT and Nigel's beauty Emporium is there you definitely have to stop by that booth 
couple years I went there, I got like kit stuff. Like they sell really good like um, brush holders, brush organizers, um, these bags that you can, you know, section off foundations, eyeshadows, all those things. I purchased those already, so I knew that I didn't want that. Um, but I did pick up a few of their lashes. Once again, other years I killed it, you know, 30, 40 pairs. I still have a bunch of um, Nigel's lashes. I've used quite a bit of them, but I started to like in red cherry lashes more. So I switched to red cherries, but I don't know. This year I picked up a few of these ones. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but they look like literally spider legs. That's what they look like to me. They look like if you have really long lashes and you put a bunch of mascara on and they kind of just clog together, but you know, just in a good way. So I don't know. I just wanted to give these a try. I'm just over the whole Demi Wispy and Wispy and number 43 lashes in the 747M. So I just wanted to give these styles a try. So I just picked up seven pairs of that. I didn't go overboard of um, at the booth. The other thing I did picked up. The other thing I did pick up at that booth was another Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. The one that I do have now is in the shade um, SX10. This one is in the shade 08. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. The one that I have is... Uh, the one that I have is kind of more on the neutral, beigey um, look. But I wanted something that had a little bit more warmth to it. This one is a little bit more yellow, as you guys can see. And that one is in the 8. Uh, the booth also had a um, couple other Kevin Aquan um, products that I already have. Um, they also had a the Sensual Skin, not the Sensual Skin Enhancer, the Candlelight Highlighter as well as the Contour Powder. But I have this um, palette here from Kevin Aquan that has three eyeshadows at the top here. Or I should say the bottom and it has the contour shade there as well as the highlighter shade there and I mean the highlighter is quite beautiful it's a very 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 beautiful highlighter it's just that I had this one so I didn't it didn't make sense for me to get the full version especially since I've had this for over a year and I've never touched it except to swatch it not sure why I mean the quality is quite good I just have never used it in a tutorial before this um, palette was an exclusive to Nordstrom um, I think last Christmas actually so I did pick up that one and I haven't used much of it so I didn't want to you know spend on getting the full package Kevin Aquan products but I'm really really happy with the color that I was able to get here um, the next thing I got um, were a bunch of lashes um, I did go to the Velour Lash um, booth and the lashes are really really inexpensive compared to what they are online as well as if you live close to somewhere that sells them I got four pairs well five pairs one of them is for my giveaway but this one is the uh style wispy sweet nothing and that's what that looks like so i got two pairs of the wispy sweet nothings and then i got um two pairs of the doll me up which looks like this so they're still wispy as well, but they're just a little bit more um, flared up. These ones are so pretty. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this pair. I think this is the one that is going to be my go-to. I only have one other pair of Velour Lashes that I honestly purchased at a salon close to me that sells Velour Lashes. And I think I paid almost $50 for that pair and I think it's called lash in the city I didn't order it online I think I wanted it for a tutorial and I just wanted something that's going to give me that look so I ended up purchasing there so I just couldn't pass on purchasing a few so I just picked up four of them from velour lashes and with the amount of wear that you get out of these lashes I think this will last me enough and I mean I'm not gonna wear them every single time because there are other lashes that I've purchased lately from House of Lashes as well as Coco Lashes that I honestly like just as much especially the House of Lashes lashes 
which I'm wearing right now and I actually I'm wearing the pixie luxe from the house of lashes that honestly they look exactly like mink lashes at a fraction of the cost they're so strong I've literally worn this pair about five times I wore it to IMAX and I'm wearing it today and it looks brand new so I'm really liking those lashes as well and I did recently purchase a bunch of them online so you know there was no need to get more of those. I also stopped by Esquito Lashes and I really wanted to stack up on a few of these as well. I was so disappointed when I went to the booth because I think they only had about four styles. Three of them were not worth the money at all. But they did have this pair here called Voila. And I really, I hope you guys can see that, but this one is so, so pretty. And they're price matched, I think, to Velour Lashes. I think they're about $24 at the store, where online you can get these. These range from about, I think, $40 to, I'm not sure, maybe $30 to $45. But I think this one in the Voila, if I'm not mistaken, is one of the... Um, more expensive ones because it's very long the one that i actually have for my giveaway is more pricey than the ones that i ended up getting because the ones for my giveaway they're double stacked they're a little bit fuller and they're wispy but they're not as long so i feel like whoever gets those whether there's someone that likes dramatic lashes they have the thickness of it but if you're someone that doesn't like something overly dramatic, they're not as long. So I think though that is a pair that, you know, will suit more people. The other things I got were from Lit Cosmetics. And a couple years ago, I purchased a bunch of um, gl uh, glitter, all that stuff from eye candy so this year i knew that i wasn't going to stop by eye candy i wanted to try the lit glitters i don't have any other lit glitters and not only was she generous in you know throwing in like um the glitter base here that is waterproof the fan a few other things she also gave me a couple glitters things here such as the fan and the water base uh water resistant glitter glue but she also threw in a couple things for my giveaway and to be honest all i did was i also, I, once I purchased what I wanted, I wanted something that was neutral. So I was picking up some of these things and I said that, you know what, I'm, I want them for a giveaway. So she threw a couple in. She's like, oh, you do, you, you know, she's like, here. And I don't say that to anyone at the booth. I knew that when I go there, I was going to spend my money to purchase for myself. I mean, I... I don't know I don't think that I'm at the I'm not going to say to you I do YouTube if you recognize me whichever way then that's great that's nice and if you feel like you want to work with me professionally you know that's good as well but I'm definitely not going to be going to IMAX thinking that I'm gonna get free stuff because I do YouTube I mean I brought my own money to spend so I was really honestly surprised when she threw these in because Lit is such a big company. I mean, these are available at Sephora. You can purchase these at Sephora, but I did pick up a couple of these for myself personally, and I have another one for my giveaway. This one is in the sh um, shade Champagne Wishes, and this one is in the shade Tinseltown. I also picked up a few of the individual um, glitters as well and of course it's a season for a lot of glitter makeup so I did pick up a few of these and I'll show you guys as best as I could but I'm sure you'll be seeing them in a tutorial sometime soon. This one is in the shade Magic Dragon. It's sort of like a um, teal golden blue um, reflect glitter. This one is in the shade Soul Sister. It sort of like has that greeny, orangey, golden um, look to it. This one is called Rich and Famous. It's a golden champagne um, glitter with re multicolored reflex. This one is sort of like a chromy platinum glitter with multi-colored um, reflect in it as well. And she also threw in a couple of the brushes to apply the glitter with. Um, this is not honestly necessary unless you want to do sort of like a eyeliner with the glitter But if you have any other brush you can use that with the glitters 
which brings me to my next thing and I'll show you guys I'm almost there by the way the other thing that I picked up from IMAX is my most exciting purchase so far this one is the Vizart or Viseart eyeshadow palette in the shade sultry um, nudes on Sephora it's known as the sultry muse I think but on the package it's the sultry nudes 05 palette oh my goodness first of all when I saw that they had it I was really surprised but I wasn't expecting it and this is what it looks like they had two eyeshadow palettes this one and the Paris nudes I wasn't sure which one to get but to be honest they're not as different for me to warrant getting both and a couple days before eye mats I did you know put it in order for some Anastasia eyeshadows so I didn't want to get both of them because as I said they're quite similar I would say this one is a more golden um, tones for people that has my complexion but if you're more fair skin the Paris nudes would be gorgeous um, not that it wouldn't look great on darker skin as well but if we are to say which palette would go better for whom this one would definitely go better for someone that has my complexion deeper or even Caucasians can use this as well but I ended up going for this one and it has three four eyeshadows that has almost um, flecks of glitter in it just very very tiny flecks of glitter while the other one is straight satiny frosty finish so I am so excited about this one and they had it at the friends boutique which Oh, I'm just so 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 in love with this palette the only bad thing is that they didn't have the matte palette which I wanted um, and I would have bought it for sure if it was there because this retails for $80 and the price is even on there but at the show it was only $60 I know so I wish a part of me wanted to get both but there was that logical side that says you don't need both because they're not that different that you need both of them and once again I just didn't want to buy things that I wasn't gonna use even though to be honest for all the reviews that these eyeshadows are getting I know that in the future I'm probably gonna end up getting that palette pretty soon because these eyeshadows have been getting such great reviews but I know that they're all sold out on Sephora a couple other websites as well but I just want the matte palette if I get the matte palette I will feel more complete right now I feel just so incomplete with this palette because to be honest with eyeshadows you can only judge in my opinion anyways it's best to judge them by the matte shades because that's how you're gonna really see the performance of the eyeshadows these ones they're mostly shades that I'm going to use on the lid or the brow bone um, and based on what they say you can even use them to highlight as well but I have to have the, the matte palette to see really how it performs apart from that I don't have anything to say about them they did swatch beautifully on my hands when I was at iMats but I need the matte palette in order to get a definite um, opinion of the palettes themselves yeah. okay so the other things that I got and I think the final things I got actually were some brushes from Morphe um, Morphe was on my list Morphe eyeshadows were on my list when I got to Morphe I swatched a few of them and to be honest there are a couple of the palettes that I have very very similar and I don't know like I feel like some of these companies are just buying generic brands and just packaging them and putting their name on it and there's nothing wrong with that don't get me wrong I'm just saying for me personally I have there's a palette there that they had that I have it in my collection that I've never used and it's a really vibrant colorful palette um, so I just straight away from the eyeshadows but I did, you know, get a few of their brushes. I usually go to Bedellium Tools to get their brushes there, but I just wanted to try something new. So I went to Morphe and got some of their brushes there. Um, but usually I go all for eyes. I mean, blender brushes, eyeshadow packing brushes, 
fine liner detail like all the eye brushes but this year I just wanted to for focus more on skin brushes so the first thing, thing I got was this one called the M320 which is a large powder um, brush that has sort of like a domey look to it and I think this one is perfect you can use it as a blush brush um, even as a bronzer brush or even you know just to Put powder on your face so this one is I think I will get a lot of uses out of this one this is another one I'll show you guys this one it's sort of like a flat on both side um, it's sort of like a flat on both side brushes it's a brush that is pretty much flat on both sides this one is the M141 so I think this one would be perfect if you want to contour with it or even apply um, blush to the cheek this one will be great for that and within that same series this one is the m437 i got this brush as well i really wanted a brush like this because i wanted something that i can really use to get within the groove of my um, cheek to contour and i have one by bdellium tools but i wanted something that is a little bit softer and i think i found it with this brush the other four face brushes I got is the MB36, which is sort of like a dual fiber, fiber brush. This would be great for blending out, say, blush or even applying foundation if you really wanted a full coverage. This one is a sort of like a stiff brush and this one was one of those brushes that I purchased just because I just wanted to get a brush that has no purpose that I can find the purpose for I know that I can definitely use to put foundation on because I have this one as well which is sort of like a round brush and I know Sigma has a brush that is very similar to this one so you can apply foundation with this one um, even contour with this one or even apply um, blush with this one but this one is similar except that it's more of a rounded um, I should say this one is more rounded but this one is more of softer and sort of has a feeling that you can apply uh, blush with it or even powder but it's dense enough that you can get away with using um foundation with this as well so this one is the mb34 and the mb8 um i also got a flat top kabuki brush which is just similar to my bedellium tools um 957 brush as well as the sigma f80 brush which is not around here but the sigma f80 brush and I just picked up two eye brushes because as I said for other eye mats I feel like I go crazy on the blender brushes sometimes they're brushes that I still use and sometimes they're just random brushes but I just picked up two eye brushes from Morphe this one is the MB23 which is similar to the MAC um, uh, the Sigma I would say the Sigma E40 and the MAC 224 and then I got this one, which is the MB13, which is similar to the Sigma, um, the Sigma E25 and the MAC 217 brush. So this one is great for, you know, blending eyeshadow within the crease. And this one you can still apply within the crease, but if you want more of a concentrated um, application of colors within the crease something that you don't want it all over the place so I just ended up getting two brushes um, for eyes and guys that is the tutorial um, I'm really really happy with my purchase I find like everything that I purchase has a um, as a purpose you know it's not just random well, guys I don't know if I showed you but I picked up a couple of the black beauty blenders I have a ton of the pink ones and even those little tiny baby ones that I've never used on camera because I think I've only used it once and I didn't like it I didn't see the purpose but I wanted a black beauty blender and yeah I picked up two of these so I'm really happy with that but that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And honestly, once this video is live, I'm definitely going to be checking out all the other people that posted their videos because that is the exciting part about IMAX as well. It's like, what did you get? But I'm really happy with what I got and I just cannot wait to use them in tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I will do my best to leave links to the products that I have purchased at IMAX um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video